the Monetary Policy Committee sitting in November of 2017. That's the last time it converged to review rates. After this, some of them needed to be replaced before the next sitting as their contracts would have expired. But that has not been the case. Names of new appointees were sent to the Senate for approval but were rejected after President Buhari declined to replace the current head of Nigeria's anti-graft body. The current EFCC chairman, Ibrahim Magu, has been bursting high-level corruption scandals involving senior government officials. The stalemate dragged on until the first meeting scheduled for 2018 was cancelled. Now legislators, fearing the far-reaching consequences of a non-existent monetary policy committee, have walked back on their earlier stand. But the vetting could be completed much later after next MPC scheduled meeting. And that's why the central bank is amending its timetable. Failure of the committee to sit in January has been fueling negative sentiments among investors. Some investors, especially on the financial side, would be a bit worried because you do need to, to have the highest policy, uh, monetary policy making organ sitting on top of issues and making decisions. But the, the governor has residual powers, as even as the chairman of, a, of the bank, and as well as the chairman of that committee, can make decisions, but he has maintained the status quo. So, and the status quo is not, is not a, a, a bad idea at the moment. Luckily for Nigeria, even without the MPC meeting, some key economic indicators have continued to move in the right direction. Foreign reserves continued rising, inflation consistently fell, and portfolio investments did not take a noticeable slump. The refusal by the Senate to approve nominees for the MPC is seen by many as a risky political spat between the Senate and executive. This bank is, is one of the most solid independent structure, institution that we have in the country. And it has a reach that is more than uh, what we can toy with. And I think it's totally unfair to want to cramp their style. I think they, they need to be given the latitude to continue to regulate because they're regulating a very dynamic financial side of our economy. You have 22 banks, and then you have 3,000 BDCs below the change, and you have so many other financial institutions. And you know how difficult it is to, to, to regulate these, these entities in Nigeria. The Monetary Policy Committee's next sitting was set for the 19th of March. But the Central Bank Governor, Godwin Emefiole, says that meeting will now be moved to the first week in April. The hope is that by then, the Senate would have completed the vetting process of the newly appointed members. And whatever the decision made by that committee would be watched closely by the markets. Kelechi Amekala, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria.